welcome again to the channel Ecoholics. We are continuing our topic of indifference curves. We have already done four properties of indifference curve and now the last property of indifference curve is as follows. The fifth property says that indifference curve do not touch any axis. Any axis means that either y or x axis. So, um, like fourth property that we did was indifference curves do not intersect each other. So, we made two indifference curves and then we intersected them and then we saw how the property is proven to be right. So, again, because we have a negative sense over here in this property, so let's make two different indifference curves. Um, and touching either of the axis and let's know how indifference curve should not touch each axis. Uh, so uh, let's make indifference curve 1 and indifference curve 2. Uh, IC1 over here is touching the y axis and IC2 is touching the x axis. Now in the very topic, the very starting of the topic, we discussed the meaning of in, in, indifference curves which means indifference curve is a curve which is a combination of uh, two goods. Now the combination of two goods deriving us with equal amount of utility or level of satisfaction. So now uh, we all know graphically if any curve touches either of the axis that particular uh, axis uh, on that particular axis whatever either a good or a commodity whatever is put for example I put A good on X axis and B good on Y axis so respectively on X axis at point A1 the quantity of A will be 0 and uh, similarly, at point B1, uh, which is due to the indifference curve 1 touching the y-axis, the quantity of B will be 0. Now, over here, we can again see that the main crux of indifference curve is the curve being a combination of two goods. And if one of the good is 0, if A is 0 or B is 0, in both the cases, it does not contribute to being a combination of two goods. It is just one good. So that is why the fifth property is very important to know. note that indifference curve would not touch any of the axis whether it's x axis or whether it's y axis. So here we conclude with our, uh, with our session of indifference uh, curve analysis which was basically an ordinal utility concept given by Hicks and Allen okay and uh, we have many more topics to go in the microeconomic theory so we'll be meeting soon to uh, you all and for further interaction for any of the suggestions that you have any of the queries that you have any of the topics in microeconomics that you want us to uh, cover please write to us in the comment section below also you can see our blog for various content uh, regarding current economic issues the description of ecoholics channel has the content or the description of the blog as well so you can note that too uh, also uh, in this uh, in the section and uh, apart from this, of course, like, share uh, our video. If you like Ecoholics, please share it with your classmates, with your schoolmates, with your colleagues and uh, make us popular as you are now too. Uh, subscribe our channel for more updates and please uh, click on the bell icon so that whenever we update uh, any of the video, you get the update as soon as we put it on YouTube. Thank you so much for liking us and uh, please keep on liking us. Thank you.